Here we go. Let's go. All right, enough of that. Apparently that intro is not long enough. Welcome to the number one conservative podcast in Nevada, the Political Activists Anonymous podcast. Still still, still means the same thing. Uh, last week I left off always looking at the competition. And let me crack open a soda here. You may recall that I saw that Annie Black was promoting on her anagram that she had been on Michelle Mortensen's show. And I went ahead and dug a little deeper into her show, found her over here on Anchor, the podcast platform. It's whatever. I was like, well, that, that kind of stinks. She's not on that very many platforms, but it turns out she is on youtube and one of the complaints that i've had about some of the local people is their production values aren't very high you know but uh michelle just one thing i want to point out real quick just got banned from youtube for a week of discussing increased violence in new york city back in october they say it violates their standards let that sink in so somebody here said if you get a rumble account let us know i stopped using youtube because of the censorship and michelle said it's not so user friendly. Can't go live. Uploads take forever. It's just a time suck. Um, that's not true. I upload to Rumble, BitChute, and Odyssey, and I don't have any issue uploading to any of those. So I'm not sure what Michelle's getting on about about Rumble not working. But what Michelle does have is Twitter. I wanted to, um, if you watch her videos on YouTube or live streams on YouTube, you won't catch the intro that she does for the actual podcast. So here's, uh, here's the opening to her podcast or her, um, her show, her, like daily show. This was today's show an hour long. I, don't, I need to, might need to talk over some of this stuff because I don't know if, uh, if any of this music is copyright. As a matter of fact, I know some of it is, uh, this part. Yeah. It's, a uh, um, weekend song i think so you kind of like i don't know if she gets gigged on youtube or if she's trying to monetize and and Live not get from you know. las vegas nevada at the kshp studios this is the michelle mortensen show with your host michelle mortensen the fresh and fearless voice of talk radio taking on the liberal media the political hacks and so much more it's time to nix the narrative and get to the truth the way only Michelle can. Now, here's your... Do you get all the little catchphrases in there? Nix the narrative. Feisty, farting fox of truth. Your host, the fresh, fiery, and factual voice of politics and news. Eight-time Emmy winner, Michelle Mortensen. Eight-time Emmy winner michelle morton so she got two right there in one hand uh, um so that uh, all right let me let me give you a little taste of michelle before i go before i talk about emmys uh-huh yeah not an unattractive lady but hello and happy friday everyone yes you heard in that introduction that introduction. i am an eight time emmy winner. Ah. i'm kind of proud about it some of you get all mad when i brag about it being like ew humble brag but you know who humble else is an emmy brag winner brag. well governor andrew cuomo oh my god he's won an emmy too and i think after today's show you are going to be scratching your head as to why this man was ever awarded an Emmy. You may be scratching your head as to why does, this man is important um, at all. You may be but, scratching uh, your head as to why no show, one is Let's pause this. She, her, um, her little wingding here. Let's get to this part. Skip past that. Or she's talking about Cuomo. 
She has some... What's going on here? She talking about him that much? Come on now. Twitter. Piece of crap. All right, anyway. We're going to go on over here to the... Uh, this will turn out bad. To her YouTube video. All right, I think I had it paused on something. That's made a lot of angry millennials who are progressive and vote with the liberal left just stir grieving mad. Uh, How dare they censor me? That's not right. I have a right to play the stock market. You're right. You do. She, um, Discord and all the agree. groups. Who's on Discord? A bunch of 20 year old gamers. She interjects little movie clips and stuff. Fit to be tied. That they're being censored. This is definitely like, uh, yeah. Welcome to it, the I'm glad club. She only talks about national. Because do you remember <laughs> earlier in this freaking yeah. month when we were all up in arms about Facebook and Twitter censoring people wildly, and like, YouTube over censoring people and how that wasn't right a lot of viewers, and it wasn't though. good and it was censorship and all you elite liberal, you know. She, um, uh, she had on this dude today that was uh, – he ran, his name's Brock, some kind of child actor. Here he is that ran for president. And he's like, this was, he's a Bitcoin guy. He got a little lucky with Bitcoin. Former presidential candidate? Yes, I am. I'm also going to be talking to a former actor who you probably saw yeah. on movies like First Kid with Sinbad and the Mighty Ducks. That's right. That's right, my friend. Brock Pierce is joining Brock Pierce, me yeah. He is I heard this dude on Jim and Sam candidate. one time. He this guy's running for president. Let me blow this up. Describe him. He's like balding and but long hair on the sides and back and like, yeah, it's, a, you know, like not a good beard, not a good mustache. But he he's he's saying that it's good for her. <sighs> Former child actor got a little money in Bitcoin and now he's going to run for president again. He says he did it the first time to like figure out how to do it. And then it's like, you know, playing a round of cards, I guess, and then figure out how to play the game. But Michelle is my new favorite here. Let me, yeah, here. She thinks she's Lisa Renna. Lisa Renna, is that right? No. Um, who's the. And because Flash the Sloth, who worked at the DMV, was very, very, very slow. And PETA is very. Look, she's reaching for it. Very, <clears throat> very stupid. Did you know that a reality star is going to be running for mayor of New York City? Oh, we're going to talk about it. You better believe I'm going to talk about it. Uh. That's it. Oh, Thank yeah. You. Let me get ready. Good. Let's go. So one of the former Real House. So she she only does like she's not doing local stuff. So so far, I don't have to worry about her. I don't have to worry about Dave Crete uh, as far as competition goes. But what stood out to me, let's you know figure out who Michelle is. I, I, just, I got no. I looked at her bio here on this voting website, and it's just education, BA in journalism from Southern Methodist University, a, a pinnacle of journalism education. Uh, political experience, candidate in Nevada Assembly. Okay, wait. Ran for House of Representatives, District 3 in 2018, and then State Assembly, District 37 in 2020. Lost both of those. Um, so now she's an expert on running for office, too. She was talking to Brack about... Uh, running for office professional experience she is currently the president and ceo of modern media uh from 2019 to present yeah and i i wanted to bring up i have in my notes here because when i when i heard that i kind of thought about this myself let's see oh i am the ceo of the key endorsement group if you ever go on facebook and you want a key endorsement you want something you know like when you read an article and it says so and so received a key endorsement for their idea or key endorsement for their campaign that's what i offer free key endorsements the phrase key endorsement group is you know part of the whole program so i am the ceo of that and i'm the ceo of team nevada i've been the ceo of team nevada for a long time you can look that up it's registered on the uh, secretary of state's website so She's, you know, that's good. Modern media. Very good uh, name for her little gimmick that she's got going on. Because she's probably making money. She's got actually, like, some su subscribers and sponsors, I think. Uh, she was a consumer reporter, national TV host, anchor reporter. So all she's ever done is the news from 1999 when she was uh, hatched from a pod. And they were like, what do we do with this one? It's kind of weird looking. And they're like, put it on the news. So that's... 
Um, that's what they did. No religious, civic, and other memberships. Seven-time Emmy winner. Now she says eight times. So I Googled local Emmys, and then I got into uh, the, the Emmys is broken up. They have chapters, I think nine chapters. It said we're in the Pacific Northwest, or I uh, know, sorry, Pacific Southwest chapter. Hang on one sec. And, uh, West, okay, sorry, I didn't Pacific need to do that. Chapter. Hang on one sec. Come on now. And, uh, amateur hour, Steven, you're supposed to be watching the feed. I don't know why that popped up on my thing. The Southwest chapter includes, I don't know if I, I left it up, but it's Las Vegas, Bakersfield, San Diego, just like the boonies like it's there's there's not much going on in in that region and when you go to I, I i looked at this is just a sampling so this this pdf here doesn't have a link for the 2019 recipient list and the 2019 nominee but the 2018 nominee list and the 2018 recipient list do have links so i looked at them and uh, let's just compare real quick as a uh, journalistic enterprise this is the nominees and here overall excellence. These are the nominees. So there's four nominees for journalistic enterprise, six for overall excellence. The winners that year, two winners for overall excellence, three for team coverage. Where was that? that other one. Journalistic enterprise, two. Two of those won overall excellence, two of those won. And, you know, like you have to pay to, to submit your, uh, nomination you get a certificate just for being nominated which you pay for yourself you do yourself you become a member or you you submit but in some of these the number of entrants it would be like 14 say for team coverage i think there were 14 nominees and what was that team coverage yeah team coverage and then here team coverage okay three there was one that had like a ton of winners and I, I don't know if maybe just like these things have to meet the criteria, but, or, or, you know, and I don't know. I, it doesn't seem like, like one, two, three, four, five, six in breaking spot news coverage, six winners. So I think these are kind of just like paid for. So her eight Emmys, you know, you can take that with a grain of salt. Uh, you know, we, we're, it, it's uh, certified that we are the number one conservative podcast in Nevada. So if, if she would talk about conservative stuff, local we might be in trouble but she's also in a different in a, a different class too this is a professional like all she's ever done is this since she was she was spawned from the pod is do this um that's what i want to talk about uh yeah pasaki i don't uh it's kind of rude I'm, I'm kind of attracted by uh, to this Pisaki lady. I don't, I don't know why. What is what is up with that? The the new um, press secretary. Yeah, I don't know what it is about her. I like women, so that's cool. That's uh, it's not what I wrote in the notes about her, but I'm not going to read that. <laughs> I don't know why I wrote that. Oh. Man, uh, oh, I, I was I was wanting to talk about some of the the power couples last when I was talking about uh, Amy Tarkanian, who's probably still moving towards running for state chair for some reason. But something I forgot to talk about was some of these um, power couples that replaced the Tarkanians, the uh, the the Dan Rodimers and the the Peters, Sam Peters and his wife. Like they, I wonder if Michelle Mortensen's husband is involved. They could maybe form a, a power couple. There was one other channel that I've been having, I've been checking out, Las Vegas News Review. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this one. Steve Creek took the week off, the week off again. He's uh, he's slacking. Of course, you know Sherman Ray. Still, not. Bless America. I got to go right to YouTube. Las Vegas News Review. Yeah. 
a terrible name for your page, your channel, because it um, it looks just like the Review Journal. Here, Las Vegas News Review, 460. So this guy was, he was doing all local news. And then he kind of, I don't know, got red-pilled or I'm not sure. So like his old videos, well, they're gone. Okay, so he used to do daily news videos where he would just read like the top stories of the day, but now it's all No Mask America podcast. So his entire shtick now is anti-masking. I don't know if anybody knows this guy. Violence. I think he used to be a radio host out here. Protected by the Constitution. And I already did a podcast on that. Violent speech is not super interesting, speech. this guy. But yeah, I don't have to worry about this guy anymore because criminal speech. All he talks about is no masking. So there's that guy. Go check out Michelle Mortensen's stuff. It's I don't know, it's a little, uh, I don't know, like annoying the way she uh, does her character voices, but you get used to it and the little drops and everything. But her production value is way better than me and Steven. It gives me something to aspire to. She's using OBS. Clearly there's, there's, uh, there's frames and, and everything going on in her stuff. But, you know, the only local thing she's done is interview Annie Black. I don't want to talk to Annie Black. I I wouldn't know what to say. I'd be stammering and everything. I'd get all, you know, oh, Annie Black, you're so cool. I don't know how to act around people. So that's it. Uh, somebody tell Michelle Mortensen if she sees this. It's not so hard to use Rumble. Get on Rumble, Odyssey, and BitChute. They're super easy to upload your stuff. It only takes a moment to, you know, just you just... I don't know what you're using, but you got to be using better gear than I have. And if you can't upload, upload to Rumble, BitChute, and Odyssey, like the PAA podcast has, and get on all those platforms, then you're, you're wasting some, some valuable resources here because her, her, her stuff is polished. She's on some sort of AM radio. I didn't see KHSP 1400. I wanted to look that up real quick. What the hell is that? KHSP 1400. It's an AM station, which means you probably got to pay. If she's paying to be on AM, that's uh, that's weak souse. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that. We're really good at me. Well, what the heck is that? So it's okay. They brought me right to the TuneIn app. So they just do a sports thing and then public affairs. It's a sports. Okay, I guess people still listen to AM radio for for sports. All right. Well, yeah. If somebody's on with uh, Michelle, let her know that uh, that. You know, I'm looking at her as the competition now, even though she doesn't talk about local stuff. And we're on more platforms than her. We're killing her. And she sees us as competition, but she needs to up her game. So there, the challenge is on. Here, I'm even going to have to play my outro now because we're so professional here, me and Steven. Okay, just, yeah, whatever. Every time. I swear to God, Steven, you're the worst. Because now, you know, I got to click through all this. There we go. Thanks for watching. Number one podcast. Number one conservative podcast in Nevada. We haven't number one podcast yet, but we will be. Number one conservative podcast in Nevada. And uh, probably have more local stuff coming up to talk about instead of going after the competition. <laughs>